you want to submit your character to be in some of these videos, then make sure you tune in to the end of the video. And make sure to like the video before we get started. talk about generational talents, you have to talk about Cato Hendricks. He's only a sophomore and he's been the best player in high school football for the past two seasons. Easily the best high school wide receiver I've ever seen. Today is his conference championship and it's a big opportunity for him to shine. So let's go to the University of Maryland where the WCAC championship is being played. On second down and 10, Cato Hendricks will get the ball on the screen right here, make a nice sharp cut and be in the open field. That linebacker did not think that he would make a cut that quick. And just like that, Damatha is up 7-0 nothing with a 75 yard touchdown from Cato Hendricks. When Cato was a freshman he wasn't getting a lot of screens. A lot of people including myself thought that Damathis should feature him more in the screen game. They started to do it this year been doing it a lot, especially late in the season, and it's definitely paying dividends. Sometimes I might know a thing or two. With his speed, physicality, running back like vision, this man is damn near unstoppable in the screen game. Good coaching by the Damatha staff to get this man involved early. Great play design as well. Gonzaga's dropping in the cover too. So Damatha has the numbers match up. They end up blocking him perfectly. Cato needs to make one man miss, and he's off to the races for 75 yards. Big time play. The math up 7-0 on 3rd and 2. Cato Hendricks catches an absolute diamond, makes a man miss. Nice stiff arm as well. 30-yard play. Great job by Cato Hendricks, but the 5-star quarterback, Colin Dunn, threw an absolute dime to him. And Cato does a great job of making a man miss in the open field, stiff arming a guy and getting a little bit of extra yardage. Damatha wanted to feature Cato Hendricks in the screen game a little bit more. Nice yardage after the catch as well. 15-yard game, but Damatha had no points on that drive. They would get the ball with 15 seconds left to go in the first quarter, though. Cato Hendricks would get pressed a little bit of contact, but Colin Dunn throws an absolute dime that Cato makes a man miss in the open field. Yards after the catch? Look at the effort. Cato had a little bit of contact on his release, but he does a great job of fighting through it. Colin Dunn throws a dime. Cato, one cut, make a miss, and get the yak. When you watch Cato Hendricks on film, play after play after play, you just say, man, this guy's a physical specimen. He makes plays like this look like they're ordinary. Make one man miss in the open field, break two tackles, stay on your feet, get a little bit of yards after the catch. This is not normal stuff. One thing Cato Hendricks does great is manipulate defenders' as playing zone coverage. He uses body language to make them think like he was running to the left but he cuts inside, nice catch, first down and goal for the Damatha Stag. He doesn't just have all of the physical talent, he's a very smart player as well. Unfortunately for Damatha, they wouldn't score in that drive once again. Cato Hendricks gets the ball on the screen right here, another cut in the open field, a little bit of yak, but he got tackled by the DB. This is good coverage by the DB, but the tight end James Bray has a great block, Cato makes a man miss in the open field, nice play. These DBs seem to forget that Cato Hendricks runs a 4-3, so he runs right by him for a touchdown. When you run a lot of screens, DBs tend to cheat up thinking that they can make a play at the line of scrimmage, so that's why you send Cato Hendricks on the 9 route, tell him get behind the defense. 62 yard gain for the 5 star wide receiver, and the Damatha Stags are up over the Gonzaga Eagles 14 to nothing. It seems like when Cato Hendricks plays in big games, he plays his best, and he cannot be stopped today. After scoring that touchdown, the Damatha defense ended up making a stop, they would be up 14 to nothing. Cato Hendricks would get the ball on the screen right here, try to make a man miss in the open field, but he definitely failed that time. On first down and 10, Gonzaga drops in the cover too. Cato Hendricks will get the ball in the soft spot. Ends up breaking the tackle by the safety. Step backs on him real quick. Nice spin move. Walks into the end zone. That was too clean. If you're wondering why Cato Hendricks is favored to win the Gatorade National Player of the Year once again, if you're wondering why Cato Hendricks is a five-star recruit, if you're wondering why he's so hyped up, it's plays like this. And he does it 
time after time after time again. Saw they were playing cover two, found a soft spot, broke the tackle, stayed in bounds, stepped back on three dudes, and walked in the end zone untouched. This man just shook the whole team. He shows off everything. The strength and the power, the body control to stay in bounds, the stop-start ability, the agility, and the speed. Cato's been killing them underneath and in the yard after the catch game, so once again, they forgot that he runs a 4-3. Walks behind the whole defense at the end of the half. I don't know about y'all, but if I see a guy that's 6'3", 220, that runs a 4'3", and he's running full speed at me, I might have to get in the back pedal just a little bit. But nope, they decided not to, and they paid for it. The matter with another touchdown, up 28-14 right here. Third quarter, they decided to put Cato Hendricks in the Wildcat. They would fake the jet sweep. He would get the ball on the outside, make a man miss in the open field, okay? Shows off that running back-like ability that I talked about. On second down and one, Cato would be in the Wildcat once again. Get a direct snap. Runs into his own man, stays on his feet though, and finishes that run with a 25-yard gain. At the end of the third quarter, the Stags are up 28-14. to Some people thought that this margin should be a little higher, but the Stags are in full control of this football game. Can Cato Hendricks and DeMatha put him away? We'll see in the fourth quarter. One more quarter till we have a WCAC champion. At the start of the fourth quarter, Cato Hendricks would get the ball on the screen right here. He would see a safety in the open field, make a man miss. One more guy to outrun, he can't catch him, and he will walk down the sideline. That might be the dagger right there. Big time play from the DeMatha Stags. In high school football, there's nobody scarier with the football in their hands than Cato Hendricks. Hands down. He gets the ball on the screen right here. He has great vision, makes one cut in the open field, has the speed to outrun him, outrun the safety as well, and such an athlete. Great pancake block by number six, James Bray, a Patreon member. Cato makes a man miss in the open field, outruns two guys. Walks down the sideline. DeMatha will end up making a stop, get the ball back on offense. Throw it to Cato Hendricks on this slant right here. Cato will walk into the end zone untouched. Number 41 was absolutely baked on this. Cato Hendricks does a great job. I think better than anybody else in the country of selling certain routes. Had that cornerback looking confused right there. Ran his route, walked into the end zone without even being touched. So smooth with it as well. He makes him think that he's running the goal. Mm, cuts inside. Had the corner confused. Walks into the end zone. He can tilt his body, make certain cuts. This man can run routes without even making breaks. Breaking dudes off. The rain will end up clearing up so it will be sunny out here at the University of Maryland. Cato Hendricks will get the ball right Right here, break a little tackle, get smacked by John Neal, a Patreon member. Cato gets a free release so he can find a soft spot in his own. Definitely got punished at the end of the play by seven right there. Cato fakes the out row, finds a soft spot in his own. Look at the spin move though. It's the little things when you watch Cato Hendricks that make him so impressive. That nickel was about to cover Cato Hendricks when he faked the out, made him hesitate. So he has the middle of the field wide open, catches the rock, and he's so smooth with it too. It's this. Find the spot. It's this. Once again. Whoever gets him in 30-23 is getting a special time for real, for real. This is one of my favorite plays from the ball game. Ball was behind him from the screen. Redirects. Makes a man miss in the open field. Got a 29-yard gain off of that. Ball was thrown behind him even though it was blocked up tremendously. Redirects and just makes the magic happen. Such a special player. And at the end of the game, did the Matha Stags win the WCAC championship 42-14 over their rival Gonzaga? Five-star wide receiver Cato Hendricks, who's the class of 30-23, finished the game with 15 catches, 539 receiving yards, and six receiving touchdowns. Anyways, it's Breezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment on the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And make sure you click on the post notification bell, too. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. If you want to see the California High School State Championship game with a three-star safety faced up against a five-star defensive end, click this video right here. Or you can see every single Cato Hendricks video if you click on the playlist above.